What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Needed Podcast, episode 85, Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson. Chad, give me another number 85 that was famous, and, and I don't know. I, I 85 is Ocho Cinco. That's all I can think of. It's Ocho Cinco. I don't know, Chad. I can't think of anybody else. But this is episode 85. Um, if you're on YouTube, appreciate y'all watching all these on YouTube. I know it's not the most viewed thing in the world. But this is all for the comp, man. Let's get it. Vernon Davis, Jack Youngblood. Now, the fact you know Jack Youngblood is 89, yeah, still town. That would be you. Though that's that's a old, that's a old little reference right there, boys. But we are here, man. This is the Needed Podcast, episode 85. What's up, boys? Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward was 86. Oh my God. All right, I'm done asking. I'm done. I'm done asking stuff, Ward. I'm done asking. Gates was 85. Gates was definitely 85, man. But here we are, man. Let me see. Is my is everything looking good? My lights blinging. My light. Everything looking. I'm looking fresh today. I'm looking good. How you guys feeling? Um, it is Tuesday. It is the podcast. I'm excited this week. I'm excited because Saturday is the Needed Gaming Mutt Invitational. I've been telling you guys for two weeks now. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling you guys for two weeks about this. All right. So it's going to be a big deal. It's something I've been putting together and. The biggest news we got today is we are going to be on the front page of Twitch uh, at 8 p.m. Now, the event is going to start around 6 p.m., um, but we will be on the front page of Twitch at 8 p.m. for probably the final four and the finals. That is our goal. That is our expectation. So we're going to put on a good show. All your favorite man streamers will be competing in this in this tournament. So that's going to be tough. Uh, we're, and I, once again, Players Lounge is supporting the tournament. Players Lounge is sponsoring the tournament. So, in case you guys didn't see it, we can go ahead and take a look at the bracket. The bracket is right here. You know what I'm saying? Let me just move this just a tad. Where my display? Boom, boom. There it is. Boom. This is the bracket. This is how it's starting. And we got K-Mac and Noah. We got Throne versus Journey. These are just much must-watch games. You know, can Noah stop K-Mac on Mutt? Can Throne beat Drinny? Can can Drinny adapt to Mutt? I know he hasn't played it a lot. We know Throne plays the hell out. Throne and K Mac play the hell out of Mutt, right there. CC Pavin, who I mean, CC plays the hell out of Mutt. What's what's going to happen there? I'm saying D Crawford's versus Fancy matchup of the Titans. BG versus J Wall. Mutt Demon versus not a Mutt Demon. Boogs versus Joke. I mean, they've played a bunch of times. Um, two two of the most accomplished players in the MCS. Uh, Zan versus Chaos, who, who, and then we got Clef versus Maze. You know what I'm saying, uh, this is a tough, a tough bracket, boys. Now I'll tell you guys, I, this goes down Saturday, 6 p.m. is going to start. Now today we'll go over the bracket challenge and we will do the official podcast bracket. We will find out the official podcast bracket. In fact, we should do that, man. We should definitely make a bracket right now. I'm saying. Ponto. <laughs> there it is, man. Chat has Clef. Oh, we'll see. I mean, this is some this tough brackets over here for sure, man. For sure. We will do we will do predictions. We will do a breakdown. But this is going on Saturday, like I said. The biggest news is that we will be on the front page of Twitch. This will be one of the most viewed Madden events of the year, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we're going to make it that way. And hopefully, it grows enough steam so we can do these once a month, maybe. At least once a year, every summertime. That'd be awesome. Uh, maybe expand to 32 people. But I like 16. I feel like 16 people, you can really... Um, Stay in contact. I don't want to say stay in contact, but you want you can really pay attention. You know, you don't forget anybody that's in it. You know, all sixteen people. It's going to be good for viewership. That's how I feel, man. CC is a dark horse. Okay, I, I, I listen. I've always thought CC was pretty good at the game. I've always thought CC was uh, a little underrated, but you know. So we'll see that. Let's see. Uh, uh, we might have to pop a perk on the front page. Front page. No, we can't play any music. We're all going to play that Lord Kev. That's all we're playing. You know what I'm saying. So it's going to be a good event. It's going to be popping. And I appreciate if you guys can come by, stop by, catch a few games, catch a few laughs. You know we're going to have a good time. But you guys know that already, right? 
you know? Do it more than twice a year. You think so? Once a year? Mm. Once a year, the Needed Gaming Invitational. Every summertime, that'd be tough. Chad is investing in the CC stock. Okay, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> and to see what this song on repeat. Clef, there he is, man. 24 months. Two years for Clef. Red badge, demon. Put some pennies in the chat for Clef, man. I had Clef was down there looking good with the little, little stream set up. He was popping. He was bored today. He was bored. My man, Golden Brand with the tier one, too. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, I got to bleep away. Yeah, we can't play to see with this. Yes, Kyle, this this tournament, I, I mean, that's a good point. Like, going forward, do we throw this tournament? Do we throw this tournament once a, once a year? Is that really is that really the move? Okay. No, nah, I would never conflict with the MCS. I, I think summertime is the move. I feel, the thing about it, I feel like this is going to be such a success that, boom, that as soon as it's over, I'm going to want to do another one. I'm not going to want to wait a year. In fact, that's true, Hulk. That's true. Once a month, might water it down a little bit. You're right. Already with the tier one. Thank you, buddy. Let's get it. Summertime. That's summer vibes only. I feel it. I respect That's why I did it. Uh, I feel like now is like, even though Madden is still kind of popping, this is probably the best time to do it. Now, let's, now I will do a bracket challenge. I will tweet out and make a video about the bracket, you know, and what I'm going to do is give away money uh, to whoever has the perfect bracket or the best bracket. So we, all you guys will have an opportunity to fill out your individual brackets. I've just got to put together enough graphics. We had all the graphics and set, but then we got confirmation about the Twitch front page. So we want to switch it up, make it look a little more popping. So once I finish those out today and tomorrow, or tonight and tomorrow, we will get those out. So make sure you guys are following all my social medias. We'll get the brackets out. You guys fill them out for a chance to follow along, like the NCAA tournament, like we do with Club Series. And then you get a chance to win tons of merch, tons of money. Uh, I don't even want to give away anything. Is it? Is it? I have tons of coins and golden tickets, but I feel like, do you guys even want cards anymore? I know people always want cards, but I'm asking you guys, the real view. I don't want to have the, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to give anything away to the non-loyals. That's all I'm saying. No, SC, SC, SC was kind of weak this year. But SC, it, let's be honest, SC in the past has always been the best mode. Like, really. Yeah, I'll probably just give away money, really. That, the cap, you feel me? Like, that, that's all we need to give away, really. Yeah, so everybody's going to have an opportunity to make a bracket. And uh, like I said, I'll be streaming every day until Saturday. So we'll talk about it all the time. Uh, make sure you guys fill out your bracket. Caliber, bro, check out my man Kev right here. Right here. That's all you got to do. All right? Like, bro, it's like people don't listen. Everybody want to know names of songs all the time, bro. Y'all got to get out the house. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Check out Kev right there. That's his Twitter. Go check it out. He has all his links in his description, man. Yeah, SC was really good. Uh, I just... Honestly, I don't think it would ever be SC. I think the tournament's always going to be straight mutt. I think... This is, I, if I have one responsibility, I don't mean responsibility, but one goal. Like, if you look at, like, what's my goal in Madden? What's my goal from here on? One of my goals is let's unite the mutt community and the competitive community. You know, mutt kids don't know shit about salary cap. But, though, I think it's going to bring, try to do whatever I can to bring those two communities together, you know? Yeah, the mutt makes it different. I think it makes it special. Uh... I, I wish I could increase the prize pool. I mean, it's 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 a thousand dollars right now. Um, it's five hundred dollars out of my pocket. Um, it's and it's five hundred from Players Lounge. So that's pretty much what our prize pool is. Um, all these guys joined the tournament without knowing what prize pool it was. Um, but I really feel that when we put on a good show this week, the next one could be for five grand or something like that. You know, I really believe that, and we just gotta. It's it's kind of like. You can't, you can't put the cart before the horse. Yeah, you can want to make a fifty grand tournament, you know. But if you don't, if you don't have any evidence of running a good tournament or having the viewership, who is going to front that money, you know? So it's kind of like you have to do the work and then down the line look for that big payout. Honestly, 
That's I, I for for me. I said this last week. Like I, I obviously we could donate and I could do a GoFundMe and we could probably raise five thousand. We could raise so much money. But for me, uh, with everything going on in America, whether it be uh, obviously the injustice, all those causes, all those all those things you could donate your money to, all the 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 COVID, everything. Like I feel like 2020 has so much more things you guys can donate your personal money to than a Madden tournament. That's just kind of how I feel about it, really. So I don't really want to take anybody's money from it. I mean, I'll give away my money, and it'll be enough. Honestly, it'll be enough because everybody's bought in, everybody's going to rock, and it's going to be a good time. Honestly. You know, that's just how I feel about it, really. Uh, tournament will be Saturday. We're going to kick it off at 6 p.m., we will be on the front page of Twitch at 8 p.m. So the goal is to get the tournament going. If we have any hiccups or anything like that, uh, we'll get it all figured out by the time we get that spotlight at 8 p.m., honestly. So we're going to have a, a lot of... Uh a lot of... Uh, a lot of eyes, hopefully, with the front page and everything like that, you know? So I'm excited about it. Um, hope you guys will be here. Let's go over the bracket. Let's make... Let's make the official... Need a podcast bracket, much like we did with the Madden Bowl. Let's go and figure out who our exact bracket would be. You know, uh, saved. Oh my god, copy. Because I, I, I want to see what it would be. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what you guys are thinking. What your mindset is. Alright. Here we go, boys. Let's get it done. Here it is. Here go the bracket. That's it right there. So let's do our votes. Let's do our little votey vote. And the podcast is the only time I wish I had three monitors. Or another monitor. All right. So the number one game. Facts were up for sure. Um, no, we're not seeding. We're just going to do the votes. We're just going to vote. We're going to vote game by game. Who you guys like? Who you guys think? Game one. We're just going to go K Mac versus Noah. Who you guys like? We are going to make our official bracket. This is going to be the official bracket. Start the poll. Game one, man. Noah or K-Mac? Who do you guys like? Let's go. Let's get these votes in. We're on a minute timeline. Who do you guys think and why? Let me know in the chat. Who do you guys think? You know what I'm saying? We're definitely, we're definitely on a one-minute post. Now, uh, K-Mac, I, I feel like K-Mac's been running a whole bunch of stuff lately. Um, but if he goes to his spread, I'm interested to see what Noah chooses to run on defense. Then you think, what abilities are they going to put out there? Now, I'll be honest. I know for a fact... K-Mac has played way more, way more mutt than Noah. Like, it's not even close, you know. Uh, and I don't know if, I don't know if the run is really going to work that well on mutt. Noah's more battle-tested, not on mutt. I don't know if Noah has a 25-0 and 0 or he has, you know, top 10 weekend league finishes. This is a different mode. Is he going to know where to put his players, you know? So this is interesting. Let me see what you guys think. Who do you guys like right now? That's we got K Mac at 86 percent of the vote is what we're gonna do with K Mac right here. Boom. This is what I want to do. All right, let's move him up with 86 percent of the vote. Boom. K Mac is gonna move up. Oh my god. With 86% of the vote. I, I want to make sure I, I put that down here so, you know, people know that it was 86%. Let's see if I could put this here. 86%. Oh, it's damn sure not that damn small. But that's what you got. I don't know. 86% of the vote for K-Mac. Boom. All right. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I don't know. I, I think I think you got to look at the mutt experience. You know, I, I do. I feel like that's I feel like that's an important part of this here. I really do. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel. You know what I'm saying I, I I do feel like the mutt. I said the mutt aspect is a big deal. However, 
I mean, Noah is a belt winner. So what gives him what takes, you know? But, that's it. That's how it goes. Now we go to the next game. This is probably one of the most anticipated games of the tournament. As we have thrown versus a top five Madden player of all time in Drini. You know? Who do you guys like in this? Now, this is tough. I mean, I I would never bet against Drini in any game. But here we go. We have a minute left. Who do you guys like? Now, Drini doesn't play any mutt. He plays Madden. My biggest thing is where are these guys going to put their abilities? That's what I want to see. Like, what ability does, this, does Drenny throw out there on defense? Does he go three pass rushers? Does he go three linebackers? What's his thought process? Drenny too much too much TikTok? Drenny be tro Drenny's not made for mutt? Who do you guys like? Let me know. Let me know. Oh, it was 68. You're right. You're right. Damn, Aiden. Fuck. Messed that up. Damn. I don't think I can change it now. I can't change it. Yeah, yeah, my fault, my fault. I see. I'll change it for sure. And what the, the journey does? I don't think Journey will do a running back cam. Oh, he might, but I don't know if I. I think he'll still play on balance. I'm interested. I'm hype. I'm excited. I really think. I really think, and we go Journey with the sixty-six percent. Drenny moving forward with the 66. That's closer than I would have thought. Definitely closer than I would have thought right there. Definitely closer than I would have thought. So he's 66, right? And y'all said K-Mac was the opposite. 60, 60, whatever the hell it was. All right, so let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this real quick. Chat. I'll tell you. Now, I like I said, I'm really interested in seeing what. Um, all right. Boom. Like I said, I'm really interested in seeing what came. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Um, 68%. Down here. And what was Journey? Journey was 66. So we're back. Pretty e honestly, pretty even scores right now. If you ask me, they've, they've been pretty even. Is that where we're at? Yeah, that's where we're at. Chat, boom. All right, there's our votes. Now, let's get into the next game. So you guys don't get thrown any chance. What is the offense that Journey will run in this mode? Is is like, you know, like what's he gonna go to? All right, but let's get to our next game. This is another one you guys have been talking about the whole time. My man Banks in here with the, with the sub, man. Uh, Next game, we got CC. We have CC versus Poppin. This is, this is um YouTube versus Belt Winner. Who do you guys got and why? Talk to me, chat. Who do you guys like and why? I mean, I honestly, I feel like there's no way... CC can beat Pavin, bro. Pavin's getting the message. I don't know, man. I don't know. Give me the votes. Give me the votes. Give me why. Tell me why, boys. Pavin blindfolded gets this done. Damn, Hawk CC. Bro, CC is not bad at Madden, bro. It's a bad matchup for CC. It's a bad matchup. It was random, bro. It was a random. It was just a random matchup. That is random auto, a random draw. Damn, popping by a landslide. Jeez, that's rough, boys. Pop does go twenty-five and zero. Damn, seventy-nine percent on the popping train. Okay, okay, okay. I respect it. We got to move Pavin on up. What was the number? 79? Yeah, 79%. Jeez. Jeez, you guys are giving my man CC no shot, huh? Okay. So you're all on the Pavin train. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. With the 79, 79% too.
Okay, they're all they're all they're all on a Pavin train, huh? Okay. All right, where are we going to next? Fancy versus D Croft, boys. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough, 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 tough. This is this is a tough one. Here it is. Who do you guys like? Boom, right there. Who do you guys like? There you go. Good time out, D-Curve. I like it. Curve, that's the point. That's the point. Yeah, take a lap. Who do you guys like? Get the votes in. Fancy or D-Croft. Man, this is a heavyweight matchup right here for me. I, I Dude, it's going to be tough to watch. I mean, this is tough. I'm going to try to find a way. We're going to talk about talk about which games, which first round games are must watch games for us. I, it's going to be tough to play all these games at once and not watch all of them. Honestly, I feel like, dude, this is going to be like insane, insane. It really is. Yeah, this is probably the best, like, ma matchup. Like, the, the best players matching up. I mean, dude, it. I think every... D. Croft with a 61, damn. I mean, honestly, some would say... Some would say winning the Needed Podcast vote is almost tougher than winning the game. I'll be. It's kind of cooler to win the vote than win the game. I don't know. I don't know. I can't confirm that, but it's it, it's possible. I mean, look at the. I mean, these second round matchups are ready, chat. These second round matchups are ready, chat. All right, what percentage? What, what percentage was that? Let me see. What percentage did he win? 60, 61. Okay, our closest vote so far. Our closest vote so far. Our closest vote so far. I mean, these second round matchups, boys. Fancy does not lose a man ultimate team. I mean, I listen. Okay. So, but D Croft loses a man. Okay. Okay. Okay, Jay Wall. So you so you like fancy. Okay. Okay. Next we got BG fan versus Jay Wall. It's about another man. Who you guys like in this one? Let me know. Let me know. J Wall or BG? BG is a mutt demon, bro. I would not. That's that's how I'm feeling, D Crow, bro. I listen. Yeah, I don't think J Wall's that. If you never going 25 and 0, bro, I don't know if you can really hang. You can hang with the boys. Like like 25 and 0 is like that's like a mutt badge, bro. 25 and 0 is a much bad. J Wall has a 25 and 0. Okay, okay. These are going to be slobber knocker hell games, man. Are you at multiple 25 and 0s? Okay, I I didn't know. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I'm just confirming for the chat. Who do you think on this list doesn't have a 25 and 0? Zan got a 25 and 0. I don't know if Zan got 25 and 0. 58% J Wall. Okay. Okay. Oh, damn. Almost 58% J Wall. Let's move the J Wall man on up. That was that was another one of our closest. Uh, the votes are getting closer. The votes are getting closer right now. 
The votes are getting closer. Zan is an underdog versus Chaos. I feel like that's the that's the most that's a e that's a even match. I feel like all my matchups are good. I mean the Maze and Clef one, ah, I don't know about that one, bro. But you know Clef Clef is you know top five that are alive, so that's he gonna be a tough matchup for everybody. So here we go, on to the next one: Bugs versus Joke. Now we're not gonna clown my man. My man, listen. Joke might be tough, but I don't know if he's mutt tough like Bugs. I don't know. Bugs is mutt tough, man. I'm telling y'all, Bugs is mutt tough. Bugs is mutt tough. Let's go. Yeah, me and Skimbo commentating. Yeah. Bugs, I'm telling you, Bugs is mutt tough. Chat. Bugs is mutt tough. As I say that, I'm gonna get prepared to move uh <laughs> move joke over. I mean our highest vote is 79% over Povin. They be hating on Bugs. Crazy Hig sauce. It's bad. Joke gets a buy. Jesus. Senor Pablo, this is the Needed Gaming Invitational. It is a mutt tournament. It will be on Saturday at 6 p.m. Make sure you guys are there. You guys are locked in. It's going to be a great time, I promise. Oh, 62% joke? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The, the bugs, the vegetarians were out in the chat. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. I'm not mad at what I'm seeing right there. Okay, okay, okay. What was my number? 62%. Okay. Sixty-two percent. That's not bad. That's one of the closer votes, really. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now we just got to move on to the next couple. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it is. It's, it's pretty much can Boogs stop the run. But Boogs did show. If one thing he showed a man ball, man, his run defense is tough right now. I tell you, Boogs' run defense was really good. But the thing about Mutt, that's saying, the thing about Mutt is not only can these guys run, like obviously in Man Bowl, Joe could only pass, only run. In this, he'll be able to pass and run. So it's going to open up a lot of things for uh, for Joe to be able to do and a lot of things for, for Bugs to be able to start. It's going to be, bro, I think this is going to be great. I really do. Next, we got Zan and Chaos. Who do you guys like? I mean, Joe's a man player. I mean, he's not, he can definitely pass. Boom, here it is. Zan versus Chaos. Who do you guys like? Let's get it. Talk to me. Talk to me, chat. Uh, Mo Curve, the entire broadcast will be on my streamer, but my goal is to have all these guys stream to their own communities and their own viewers as well. That way, if I'm showing Fancy versus Decroft and you want to watch BG and J Wall, you can go to their channel or we'll, we'll do a good job of bouncing around. That is the number one thing that we're going to bring to the table is we are going to catch the best games. We're going to catch the best moments without a doubt. We are going to be that good, that quick to be able to get that done. I promise you guys that, really. Zan has the best defense in the tourney. Mike, but not Ike, I, I tend to disagree with that one. Curbs, yes, I'm going to do my best job, I promise you. That is something I always thought I could bring to the table as far as Madden is concerned, as far as 
as far as presentation of a tournament is. We're definitely going to stagger these. We're going to have them all put out at the right time. You are going to see all the action of the tournament. I promise you that. And my biggest goal is to make sure all these guys can stream their game, record it, talk, and play music, whatever they want to do. Because my thing when I get into one of these tournaments is I feel like it takes away from my stream. You know, I got to sit there and not talk and stuff like that. I don't really want that. And my best job is to really make sure everybody can enjoy this with their own community, their own fans, and, and, and just it's for everybody, honestly. All right. <laughs> Winner gets the reward again. Although, I can't lie to you. I think, I'm going to be honest with you. I done seen, I, I might have saw Zan pop clef. I might have saw Zan pop, pop clef this year. I might have saw it this year on some creeps. I'm not going to say anymore. I might have saw Zan put hands on Clef this year. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not going to go into detail, but I might have saw it. I might. I, I might have saw it, man. That's, I'm, that's all I'm saying. I might have seen it. Who in here with 27 months? Oh, my man, Big Chris, with the 27 months. My guy. Facts, Big Chris. Thank you, man. There it is, man. 55% for Zan. Is that the closest vote? Okay, the closest vote. We are going to go from the closest vote to a bet. This one is, this vote is, I don't think this vote is going to be that close, but we got Maze versus Clef. I don't know if Clef got a 25 and 0, though. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I ever seen Clef with a 25 and 0. Now, I don't know if Maze got a 25 and 0 either, bro. But here we go. Fill this out. Clever Maze. Maze, uh, Maze Man Streamer plays on PS4. It's my guy. He was in uh, California with us. But he's been streaming a lot lately. So if y'all don't hit him, y'all if y'all don't see him, y'all really don't hit the Madden directory, I guess. Do any of you guys hit, like, the Madden directory? Veristic, this tournament is for $1,000. In case of desync, what? Bro, we'll figure it out, bro. Maze got a 25 and 0. Okay. Okay. Wow, no, you don't got a 25 and 0. No, it don't got a 25 and yo. Feels bad, man. And that's what I asked you on the side, too, chat. Do you guys hit like the Madden directory and just see everybody that's streaming Madden? Do you guys ever do that? You know, eighty four percent for the cleft man. Sheesh, eighty four percent for the cleft man. Boom. There it is. 84% where we're at with it. Eighty-four percent. Alright, so I mean we're looking good. That's our first round matchups. We're all done the first round matchups, boys. Um now we get to the point. Now we get into the we get into the battles. I see, listen, chat, chat. I really see. I really see some matchups right here, boys. I don't know about you guys, but I see some matchups. Out of out of this round two, which matchup do you guys think is the best one? I mean, did I can't lie. This is this is just hell in a cell right now. That Noah Journey game. <laughs> Noah's stupid. I mean, Zan versus Clef is day of the tourney? I mean, this is just... All right, let's get into them, though. Let's get into them. Let's go, let's go ahead. Let's get into them. Drenny versus K-Mac. How is this not... Remember, we're playing Mutt, boys. We're playing Mutt. Get this poll up here. We are playing Mutt. 
it's this is not salary cap. It's not regs. It's not DC. It's not money games. Well, I guess it is money games, but it's mutt on all pro. Who do you guys like in this one, man? Drini has played a total of six mutt games all year. Cincy, the, no, I, listen, I don't count on anybody. Is somebody flooding right here? I'm not even look, I'm I'm not even looking at the percentage right now on the votes until it finishes, really. Uh I'm trying no doubt, man. Man at Red Rescue, that's awful, man. This man is mad. Journey knows what he's doing. Boom. Damn, 68% for K-Max, 70 votes. How is it 300 people in here? We only getting 70 votes. What's up, boys? Some of y'all tired? Are some of y'all tired? It's Tuesday. It's not even 9 p.m. yet. People are tired right now? Gosh. What was my number 68 again for K-Max? Oh, that's nice. I don't even have to change. I don't even have to write it again. I can just move this on over, like I said. Boom. Nice. Okay. Here we go. Next game. I mean... Uh, we got Pav and Decroft. Let's get this cold popping. This is, I mean, who won this matchup in, in on the, uh, whatchamacallit? Who won this matchup when they played? I think it was Decroft, wasn't it? Or no, it was Pavin? I really don't know. I really don't remember, boys. I'll be honest. Decroft won. Okay, 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 okay. We gotta do the light music behind us. We gotta do the light music. You know what I'm saying? You know, we gotta throw the light elevator music on. You know what I'm saying? The background of the stream. You know what I'm saying? My man Fancy with the raid. There he is. We're just talking about the bracket right now. Fancy viewers. Where are the cowboy fancy viewers? Check in. Who do you guys like in this matchup, man? Bunch ain't it in mud? Bunch ain't it in mud? I don't know, boys. Croft is the best passer this year. You got flooded, fancy with 61%, bro. And then Pav and Pops D Croft right here with the 62%. 71 votes. We got one more voter last time. We got one more voter last time, this time than we did last. One more voter this time than we did last time, boys. We'll move popping up here. What was what was my number? 62? 62? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I like it, I like it. Let's color that in a little bit. You know, you know. 68, we gotta put it at 68%. 62, 62, my bad, my bad, chat, my bad, chat, my bad, chat. My bad, Chad. Relax. Are you guys really trying... Is TNC really in here trying to win votes? Like, bro, how do y'all vote for people that beg for votes, bro? This is not... pop. We're not politicking right now, bro. How, like, bro, I... Honestly, I'm the type of person that if I saw you, like, asking for votes, I'd be like, nah, I'm voting for the other guy. That's what... That's just what I would say. I, that's all just what I would say, Honestly. All right, as we get on to the next one, we have a Madden Bowl champion joke versus J Wall. If you guys, if you guys really fall for this shit, I'll be disappointed. This is a Madden Bowl champion. J Wall versus joke. We did here, and there's the there's the poll. Let's up. 
Jay Wall, we did hear jokes say that Jay Wall was the best offensive player that he had played going into the tournament. He's one of them, so. Oh my god, dude. Who do you guys like? This is just I honestly, this is bad. I, I told you these TNC dudes are kind of like they're trying to take over. I don't know, you know. See? J Wall, okay, that's an upset. Okay, who do you guys like, man? I mean, I, I really don't know how we can just vote against the Man Bowl champion. I think that's a little rough, chat. I'll be honest, I think it's a little rough to vote against the Man Bowl champion. I mean, I, I don't care what emotes they have and, and things of that nature, but joke got popped. You know, like I said, you put as many. You can put as many emotes as you can on, the, on in the chat, but I mean, at the end of the day, my chat is not idiots. My chat cannot be swayed by by pop propaganda. It's just that's just not going to happen in this chat. It might happen in the TNC chat. It might happen somewhere else. But my chat, no, we don't get swayed by propaganda. We 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 know what we're looking at when it comes to Madden. You know that that's just want to make sure you guys understand that before you come in here and try to spread my propaganda, the propaganda amongst my people. Whoa. Now somebody's gonna copy this exact bracket for the the needed gaming bracket challenge. All right, what was my percentage? Sixty four. Sixty four percent of the vote went to joke. How many? Oh, we got eighty eight voters. Okay, we, can we get a hundred voters for one game? Let's get a hundred voters for this next game, or the power. I'm just never streaming again. This next game, I want a hundred viewers, boys. Or 100 votes. I want 100 votes. Zan versus Clef. Oh, Lord. Zan versus Clef right now, man. Zan versus Clef. Let's get it, man. What do you think happens? What do you guys think, bro? Focus kicker. Never even thought about that, bro. That's nuts, bro. They have every, they have every ability. <laughs> Game of the tournament. Zan in a three to two slobber knocker. Damn, Warhawk, you went Zan. Clef don't like bear. Okay. I'm listen. I I've seen it. I'm not gonna say I've seen it, but I've seen it before. That, yo, that's when I'm looking at these games as as a Madden fan. I want to watch. As, there's not a game I wouldn't watch. I'm gonna be honest. It's not a game I wouldn't tune into. So for me, like, bro, this is gonna be nuts. Like, y'all gonna have to have like five Twitch streams open. Honestly, that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna be shooting between a bunch of different. We're gonna have a screen where we have all four games up. We can have a screen where we have eight games up on a Twitch screen. Honestly, and we got Clef with the seventy-two percent. Clef with the 72%. So we're working on all that, getting all that done for you guys. So we will be the one-stop shop for this Madden tournament. 72%, right? 72% for Clef. Seventy-two percent. I mean, our, our closest vote was really Zan versus Chaos. All right, final four. This is like this is when uh, we are Kyle. That's exactly what we want to do. Damn, can't really that. Yes, we're gonna have the red zone commentary. That's what me and Skimbo will be on the call. Six p.m. It starts now. Round three, this is the final four. This is the final four. Let me move this over for you guys so we can see all of this. Boom, right there. Now I got to move. Actually, I should just move this over really is what I should do. Boom. There it is. Final foe, final foe. Now, this is when I hope to have, 
I hope to have the the Twitch the Twitch front page right now when the Final Four drops. I will play the Final Four one game by one game. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna overlap the Final Four. Um, I'm saying we're not going to overlap it. We're just going to do the first game, then the next game, then the finals. Okay? I think that's a good job. I think that's what I should do. If I if I was running it, that's what I would do, honestly. It's the March Madness you guys never got. So, I hope all you guys will be here. All you guys will be locked in. There it is. Okay, so the next game... Saturday, Saturday night, DJ. So make sure you're ready, man. That is one was going. God damn it, man. Bro, I feel like you could have a hundred monitors and still want another monitor. I don't know about you guys, but that's that's how I feel. There it is. All right. Pobin versus K Mac. Let's get it. Vote it up, boys. Who do you guys like in this matchup and why? Who do you guys think gets it? Pole is up. Pavin versus K Mac. Has he finesse, my guy? Hey, there he is, Miz. What's good, man? It's out of misery with 29 months, man. Pavin's more refined. Okay. K Mac plays angry. Uh, like I said, I don't know. I, I, I've really, Pavin really impressed me in the Man Bowl. He was kind of prepared for everything. Um, I, I don't know what if K Mac goes spread. Um, spread is something. As a man player, you really don't get that many reps against, you know, so it might Pavin might take a quarter a drive or two to get reps for real for real But I, I, I think I think Pavin's just really super Super prepared as Pavin wins the vote 61% I mean, I feel like these votes are kind of how I would pick these games And I'll be honest. I probably would have had journey flooding thrown by like 80% and I don't know if I would have picked K Mac. I don't know, man. I don't know what I exactly I would have picked. Alright, so we put Pav in right here. What was my percentage? 61. I'm gonna keep 62. I'm not changing that. That's cool. Um So next game, next Final Four game. Joke versus Clef. I mean, we saw this game at I feel like we saw this game a lot. Oh, we saw it just in DC. That's all we saw it in. Clef pop joke in DC final four Who do you guys like in this one and why I'm a man journey there it is Yeah, journey. That's what they had K Mac popping you journey. That's that's how it was boom journey They had you being thrown on 37 months for journey. That's why I can never unsub from non streaming journey Nobody scores in bunch versus joke. I don't know, man. Joker Clef, who you got, Chad? Who'd you vote for? Let's get a hundred votes on this one. Come on, boys, let's get a hundred votes. There's five hundred people in here right now. I need a hundred votes on this poll right here. Joke versus Clef. Who do you guys got? Straight mutt. Joke's been playing mutt the last couple weeks. He's played his twenty-five games a week and late. He's dropped the twenty-five and zero in the last couple weeks. Joke does not lose the bunch. That's how you guys feel? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's not Josh Cribs. That's a good point, Sam. It's not Josh Cribs. It's wide receivers. Randy Moss, Calvin, Julio, T.O., and it's a full Vic. Dashing, hot route master. Everybody's going to have hot route master. Full offensive line. Full running backs. It's definitely going to be different, man. We got Clef on a 61%. There it is, man. Clef moving on to the finals. To the Yinals. There, I mean, what just happened, W?
Throne is being Drenny? I don't know how someone can watch Madden and watch like the MCS and then turn around and say Throne is beating Journey. I guess y'all never played Journey. I, 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 I don't know. What was the number on that? 61%? Okay, okay. I don't know how someone can watch Madden and say Throne would beat Journey. I, I mean, I don't give a shit if we're playing on Mars, bro. It's like it's like five people I would think of taking over Journey, honestly. What was what was Clef's number? 61? 61, right, chat? The throne's my guy. Good friend. Good guy. But Journey <laughs> Journey is a Journey is a little different. Okay. So we have our finals matched up. We have our finals matched up. And then it was one more vote. Who is hiding Moss? CC. I don't know who would hide Moss. You know what I'm saying? J Wall might hide Moss. I could see J Wall and then doing the face cam, the freeze face cam. Trini don't even know what to run. He's just going to be out there. I mean, everybody's going to have a have moss on the field but listen I would like I would like if my guys um you know I, the creep name guys the creep name guys are gonna kill me though because Drenny's gonna hop on some name like Larry from down the street instead of Drenny it's not gonna be a young Drenny up on the screen you feel me Larry down the street. Thin crust, my guy with the Twitch Prime, man. But all right, let's do this poll. The championship match, we got Pavin versus Clef. I mean, two household names. Two household names you guys got. Who do you guys got? Boom. Let's get the poll popping, bro. Larry down the street. I'm telling you. No, Jemiah, yo, the Jemiah streaks. Journey might be tough at that. I wish I could make these games five minutes. When you play a friend on Mutt, what is it, five minutes or is it four minutes? It's four minutes, isn't it? Black Madden got a win one. Popping in his water bottle? Four minutes? Yeah, five minutes would be perfect. Prize pool is $1,000 right now, Ancient. Should I, is a belt the move? Is a needy gaming belt the move? Chad, is that the move? 56% go popping. Wow. Wow, y'all ain't real. 56% go popping with the chip. 66%. There it is, man. That is our bracket. That is our bracket, man. There it is. 66%. Was it six? No, 56. That's the shit. That's the lowest one we done had. So, I mean, listen. All the games are pretty in it. A belt? I might need to do a belt. A needed gaming belt, bro. I feel like a belt is weird, though. Like, I don't know how to explain. I don't know, like... I don't really know how to explain it, like... Not that a belt is weird, but it's like, do I go belt or trophy for this? That's what I do, man. I got my trophy guy working on the Man Honors Awards, you know what I'm saying? Or do I go trophy? Do I go a big trophy? What do you, What would y'all rather get? A bandana? Hulk, thanks, man. A ring? A ring? 
What the hell are they gonna do with a ring, bro? Why would they do a ring? What would a ring? Why is a ring? Why do people like rings? Like, first of all, nobody's gonna wear the needed gaming fucking ring. No one's gonna wear that shit. It's gonna be sitting. The Bang Bros sub. That's hey. That's not bad. Miss Lopez, we are going to have. I'm assuming that's is that not that name, Miss Lopez? M. S. Lopez is Miss Lopez. It is. I don't know if your name is Michael Smith Lopez, but Miss Lopez. I'm saying with the bracket, the bracket challenge will be out. Like I said, we had all the graphics ready and everything, but since we got the Twitch front page, we had to reintroduce some new graphics, make them a little more pop, and we got to really get this this thing looking super professional. So well, as soon as I get the brackets, we want to put out a needed gaming bracket for you guys to fill out and try to compete and win. Honestly. A plaque? Annual. Exactly, Trey. Annual. This is the inaugural Needed Gaming Invitational room. A chain? The chain. I mean, I think the trophy is the move, man. I'm, I'm talking to this trophy guy now for the man, uh, the, the awards, right? For the year. Um, now I'm gonna be real. I just gave him what I wanted. I haven't had that much dialogue with him. He lives uh, in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I want it. I want to see how he does, man. You know, because if he's the man, I'm gonna go. Get, I'm gonna get a trophy. I'm gonna get a big ass trophy for this event. You know, but I'm kind of like, you ever like, you ever like somebody do some work and you're kind of like skeptical about it, but you're waiting to see if it's hot or not. That's all. That's how I am with this trophy guy. He's like a metal molder, metal sculptor type of guy or something. A trophy? Is the mustache coming back for the tournament? Kind of a new barber, but like... I don't know how to explain it, like... I don't know. Like, you ever go to, like, a new mechanic and leave your car there for a day and you kind of, like, worry? Like, you know. You know. I don't know how to explain. But, yeah. So, like I said, tro I, I think trophy is... I think trophy might have to be a big-ass, like, cup. Like, a cup trophy. The needed gaming cup. Like, a, like a, one of the big-ass trophies. Yeah, Sin City J, that's exactly what the fuck we're talking about right now. The MCS locations next year. That's exactly what we're talking about. I appreciate your input to the conversation. And just like that, the plebes are gone. Just like that, they're gone. Just like that. The plebes are out of here, man. There it is, man. But I might bring the stash back for the tournament. I might. Chat, is that the move? Do I bring the stash back for the tournament? Do I bring the stash hat back for the tournament? I might have to, boys. I might have to. But a champion controller. I think a big ass trophy would be the move, bro. I don't know. I gotta tell Skimbo to get the uh, get a mustache too. Journey, me and Skimbo doing the, the the commentating. The chain, a needed chain, a pl a pinky ring. <laughs> My man to leave with the sub, man. The Twitch Prime, thank you, man. Whoever gets flooded the worst, somebody got to be on. Yeah, you're right. Oh, what could, like, oh, man. <laughs> Bro, what's the, uh, oh, my gosh. What could what could we give to somebody that gets popped the most? Yeah, Twitch, get, Twitch got a little wild, bro. Twitch is getting a little wild. I can't really talk about it too much, but I went to hit like live and it was like do you want to stream with pride or some shit i was like whoa
a toilet trophy. Yeah, Twitch was like, do you want to stream with pride tonight? I was like, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, boys, ho, oh, Nelly. It was a little rough. But anyway, let's talk about this is happening Saturday, 6 p.m. I will stagger the games as best I can. We will have a super red zone. Everything that's going on. But this will be non-stop action. All right, boys. Got flooded. How about like a light? How about like a life jacket trophy? No, nah, Savage. I tell you, that's what they asked me. SpongeBob, SpongeBob got caught lacking. SpongeBob got SpongeBob got caught up, huh? Yo, wow. Uh, SpongeBob definitely got caught up like that. But anyway, all right, let's do talk about news and Madden. Is that the Madden 21 trophy? Like I said, this tournament is Saturday, 6 p.m. evening time. Probably going to go to around 10, 11, something like that. So it's going to be great. I already know it's going to be great. Uh, it's been something I've been wanting to do for a long time. But that's Saturday. Keep up with all the social media links if you guys haven't, just to stay in touch. And then all the news from here until Saturday, which is what, four or five days away. Really? Uh, but anyway, Man 21 trailer. This is, this is it. This is the trailer. Um, now... Uh, I don't, I haven't really, I don't want to say I got anything from it. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's watch it. Like I said, I did not see any passes. Okay. Jackson, gonna take it himself. Spins inside the five. Dives for the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. All out control. Okay. Saquon jumping over the Eagles. Dominate the edge. B. Graham. Went, my guy. User control celebrations. I'm with that, though. I mean, that's it, chat. That was... That was, that was it. What are we taking? What are we taking from that? Like, what are we, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what do you guys think? For me, um, I did not see one pass thrown or completed. Uh, the celebrations, I always thought the celebrations is cool. Uh, the strip stack animation, uh, that's pretty cool. I, I Honestly, I, it would suck if it happened, but let's be real, this shit's pretty cool. I don't think, I hope it doesn't happen, but once a week to somebody, maybe. Uh, I hope it never happens on conservative, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, you know. And this is one thing that pisses me off. Bro, this is one thing that pisses me off about people. Seriously. Because they come out here and they say, bro, it looks the same. It looks like the same game. Bro, what, what the fuck do you want? Do you want the players to have horns? Do you want the players to have four arms or some shit? How much different can they make the game in one year? Seriously, what could they do differently to make football not look like football? You know, I'm just, I hate when people say that shit. It's Madden 20 clips. What does that mean? Seriously, I just, it just drives me crazy. People always say this, like, people, and it, bro, I, I, yo, yo, the mutt community, I, dude, I, like, am so over like mutt twitter is like yo they have any chance they have to be the most negative just miserable human being they take advantage of this shit for real oh it looks like the same game no shit 
Just like this NFL season is going to look like last NFL season. They're going to be running shotgun. Yes, they might run the ball. Yes, they might spin move. The spin move has been in the game since 1995. Like, what? Bro, oh, they like, it's like, bro, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, let me bring the plebes back. Where the plebes back? Where the plebes at? Plebes, y'all need to check in because my subs, my subs aren't these people. I need the plebes to check in. It looks the same. It's going to be the same. First of all, let's be honest. We don't know what the hell the game's going to be like. We have no clue. We have no clue. Like, we have no clue what the game's going to be like. Now, I just don't understand. I really just don't understand. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, he, oh uh, actually, Kamara and I believe Melvin Gordon, or it was some other running back that caught a pass. They were both running backs that caught passes. It's not run central. Yeah, I just don't know for real. Like, I don't understand what you want it to look like. It looks the same. I mean, no shit. Like, I could show you a football game. I could show you a football game right now from 2019 and a football game from 2016. You wouldn't know the difference. My man Carolina Juice with the five. Yeah, if dad. Let's get it, man. It's 25 emotes shared. Put them emotes in the chat. If you got those emotes shared from my man Carolina, put them joints in the chat. Oh, like, for real, man. And, and, and I don't know how long you guys have been watching the podcast. I really don't. Um, but I once did an interview with Rex, the former uh, head director of Madden Gameplay and everything. And he said the main thing that the Madden developers want every year is something new that they can write on the back of the box. You got animated uh, celebrations, which is a super W. I don't care. if It doesn't matter. That's a W to me. That shit's cool. That shit's fun. It's a video game, you assholes. All right? That's all. You know, we got pass rush moves from the D-line. That's for super casuals. Now, I will know, uh, there's Fitz Magic is in here. He'll probably lab the shit out of defensive end moves. Um, he might try it. You know, people like that will try the shit out of it. It might be tough. Like, what is there? And this is my question. What is the only, like, what could you possibly watch? Seriously, we joke about there's no passes. It's funny, right? But what could you seriously negatively take away from that trailer? Where could there be any negative that take away from a trailer of people making jukes and spins and pass rush moves? Seriously. Where is the negative? I want 120 frames per second. Newbie, bro, go play uh, PUBG or something, bro. What the fuck? Like, frames per second is not for sports games, G. It's just not. Shit, you could have you could have 500 frames per second. It's not going to help you make a read. That, that shit means nothing in Madden. Eh. No, I didn't see the scoreboard. I'm not a... I'm not... Yo. Let's, let me tell you this something stressed. They could keep the same scoreboard for my entire life and I'd be okay with it. My entire life. Not five years, not 10 years, not 20. They could keep the same scoreboard my entire life and I wouldn't notice. I would not give a shit. I'd be cool with it. I mean, I wouldn't mind refs on the field. I mean, first of all, and this us go back to this. My man Ichabod with the gift aid. Now listen. No, this is another thing. I'll tell you guys. Um, As much as we... Uh, people just complain. Madden looks pretty fucking cool. It looks good. It looks great. It does. It really... Do it looks exact... Let me tell you. I, I mean, I, I just... I, I'm just getting... I'm, I'm getting so angry. I'm I'm just getting angry. I'm just getting I'm just getting angry, bro. I'm just I'm just getting angry. It looks like Madden 20. It looks it looks like Madden 20. Not you. I mean I'm 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 just I'm getting frustrated. Uh, you guys are frustrating me. What do you want to look different? Seriously. I'm I'm asking as a friend. Like, what do you guys? 
Like when we talk about this, like what exactly do you want to look different? Who who said it looks like Madden 20? Cause what the fuck, man? Click in there. What do you want to look different? That's all I want to know. I'm get, I'm just getting pissed off right now because they're they're just pissing me off. I'm just getting pissed off. They're just what, what do we want to look different? Cheerleaders. You want a coin? I don't know. I don't want a coin toss. I absolutely love when you get in the game, you're already kicking it off. I absolutely love that. Love it. Cheerleaders. Quick presentation. Yo, the less presentation, the more I like it. Seriously. I feel like uh, you want quarterback was breaking tackles. I mean, I don't know, Mike, Mike, but not Ike. The quarterback was breaking tackles. I don't know if you watched the NFL this year. I don't know if you have ever watched football, but you know, sometimes Lamar Jackson makes people miss and breaks tackles. Chat, have you guys seen Lamar Jackson make somebody miss ever? I mean, I, I don't know. Michael Vick, I mean, he broke some tackles, you know? Cam Newton, I mean, Cam Newton, I mean... You're right, Cam Newton. Every time, bro, everyone. You're right, Cam Newton. The first person brought him down every time. You know, Cam Newton was the easiest person to tackle. Seriously, I just, I just, I just, you know, wanted to know. I just wanted to know, but you know, the game, the game that looks different. You know, no, no, the the. the the quarterback should be tackled by the first person. I if I I would buy whatever edition is the most money. Honestly, who's ready for a halfback stretch twenty one? Ha 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 ha! The fuck out of here, bro. Who's ready for a halfback stretch? Fucking dudes, bro. Plebes about to get disappeared. I'm about to just get rid of the plebes right now. Honestly, the plebes are about to be gone again. Custom jerseys would be tough. Uh, honestly, I really, I, it's really surprising that Madden continues to cost money. You know. You know, I, that, that's every, as you see. Think about it. What game really costs money other than sports games right now? You know? That's just something. Some shit is corny, really. Like, I don't know what other game other than sport games that I have spent money on. Yeah, and that's, this is the thing. My jerseys would be fire, 100%. However, um, just think about all the bright pinks and bright... Do you guys watch me play MLB? Big Dick McGicks. Uh, that's what that's what the other team would be called, big scrotum totems <laughs> or some shit like that, right? It would just the other people the other people's jerseys would be the worst, yeah. Scrotum totem scrotums. Bro, it's, it's almost as if it's chat. It's almost as if this game kind of looks like Madden Twenty. You know, does this game look different than Madden Twenty? Oh, you know, it's almost as if football looks like football, right, chat? Doesn't football kind of look like football? Like, they can change, they can change, like, the play call screen and things like this. This looks better than Madden 20. Yeah, you guys are, you got, there is no way somebody says this looks better than Madden 20. There is no way in hell. Like, we are so, we are so spoiled with how good Madden 20 looks. We really are. For real. It, 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 we are so, we are, we are just so absolutely just, just idiots, just idiots. We're, we're idiots, man. It's sad, sad to see we're idiots. Nah, this, this looks better than Madden 20, right? Madden 20 doesn't get any better. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. They, far, they told me, bro, everybody tells me that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the game doesn't change. It looks the same every year. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what they say. It looks the same. Madden looks the same. 
it would look better with a uh, newbie. Well, when the new Xbox come out, don't, what they're, they're slacking in the what details? What fucking y'all? Y- 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 I, I swear to God, I'm not. I'm not doing these conversations with y'all. Details. Madden looks so much better now, bro. What? I'm cool, bro. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool off it. I'm cool off graphics. I'm cool off graphic conversation, bro. New commentators. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Fake. Bro. I don't know. I I cringe when I hear comments. When I when I like watch people with the commentator on the stream, that shit is crazy. How do y'all do y'all really listen to that shit? You want a halftime show? All right, I'm not talking about this shit no more. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm I'm all the way off it. I'm off it. I'm off it. We are on a different page. We have different mindsets. I'm sorry. That's it. We can agree to disagree. Like, what do you want? You like you want a fucking halftime show? How yo? How good is your life that you can sit through a halftime show? What? What? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. A halftime show. What the fuck? What? Oh my god, dude. This is insane, bro. This is insane. This is insane, man. Locker room speeches. I turned my commentary off. Honestly, I think I think the game looks good. I think the game was awesome. I don't know. Maybe that's just maybe y'all think oh it's blah blah blah. I, I think that's the last thing people should ever complain about. Like seriously, what get what game? Like I, I just don't see a game that oh this game has better graphics than Madden. I just don't feel that way. I think Madden looks pretty damn good. How good is your life that you can sit through a five minute halftime show? I'm I, I got ADD. I don't know. I have to keep going, going, pressing A A A A A A. Yeah, if you play if you play enough Madden, commentary will annoy you. Honestly, I'm just like, I'm 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 questioning allowing you guys to talk. Yeah. Newbie, bro. <laughs> what type of mouthpieces? I mean, the graphics are a W for me. I'll just. Untucked jerseys, yeah, facts. That's that's one of my philosophies too. Untucked jerseys, that's definitely my go-to. All right, but let's take a look. Let's t- suction tackles would. Uh, I mean, everybody complained about that shit. This game would be way different if you could tackle. If you could tackle, this game game would be way different. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Would it? If you could tackle, way different. There it is, boys. Mm. 
What are we doing? What are we taking away? What are we adding? Talk to me, chat. Like I said, if you guys... Like I said, once you guys... um, If you guys name anything that's already on here, you're banned for life. You're banned. Break arm tackles. I'm tired. So you want Bo to be, you want it, you want it to be harder to tackle Bo Jackson. Okay, let's make it harder to tackle Bo Jackson. And that concludes the end of. That's the end of the wish list portion of the podcast. That's the end of it. That's the end. The first thing I looked down was make it harder to tackle Bo Jackson. I'm. I, that's it, boys. This was the Nita Podcast 85, bro. That's the end of it. That's it. Just, I, <laughs> historic Red Rex teams would be tough, l- lucky for sure. That, that, I'm just, I'm kind of disappointed in that, really. I really was hyped to do a little wish listing, but you know that. Big strap cover art. <laughs> yeah, historic race teams would be awesome. Stop trolling about pregame shows. Bro, honestly, historic race teams, more jerseys. Why don't we... Seriously, why in Mutt do the Eagles only have four jerseys? Ser- like, seriously. Am I tripping? Like I want it all white, I want all green, I want black, I want black with green pants. I want I want that option. I don't necessarily want to put my own logos and colors, but I want to be able to have as many options as possible for the Eagles or for the Giants or for the Redskins or for the Broncos. Like seriously. That's all. Pocket quarterbacks effective. Well, so they kind of did that with um, Brady with his his abilities. The problem was he was so broken. All right, now the historic teams, right? Uh, the historic teams, here goes the problem. You know, EA play, pays for every player like T.O., Michael Vick, Sean Taylor. They probably pay Sean Taylor's family or whoever for his rights to use his name and his likeness, right? Because... Uh, I really don't know how it works, but I don't think they are part of the current Players Association. Like, EA can do whatever the hell they want with players that are still in the NFL. So, if they want to use, say, the 70 Dol- 72 Dolphins, they would have to have the rights for every player on that team and pay that team. The- it's just not happening. Yeah, I- I- exactly. Exactly, Dream. That's what I said. And then you can go to the auction house... Pay pay uh ten thousand coins for the the black eagle socks, or pay ten thousand for black cleats, or pay ten thousand for this jersey or that pair of pants. I, I really do think. Of so I, I I really don't really care about the uh, the um scoreboard. I mean it'd be cool, but I mean the one thing about Madden you have to show everything. You know, you have to show everything. You have to show... I don't know. I don't really remember what the hell... Do they show the play clock the, t- the whole time on the game? All that stuff. But then it's like, okay, you got to realize that, okay, CBS or whatever, that's their that's their artwork, essentially. Like, okay, this is my program. Uh, CBS has their own in-house graphic designer. They came up with that. They came up with that artwork. So that's CBS's property. So now EA can't use that unless they pay them for it. And they're not going to pay it because they're going to make their own. You know, that's just how it works. And I honestly I like some of the I like I like the fact that the logos are on are next to the, the, the score and that's not on CBS or anything like that. You know, I think that's pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I really don't uh I I really don't pay attention to the scoreboard that much. I really don't 
doesn't matter that much to me. It's going to look cool, and then and then it's just going to be natural after after ten games or something. You know, I feel like you should never be able to pause. Oh, that's just how I feel. The only time I pause is when I have to piss, and I feel like I can do that in thirty seconds. Legendary coaches. That'd be cool. I mean. Buster, I won't be a coach in the game ever. I this is how I feel about Abeda. I guess we're we're still what two months away from the release? It, June, July, August, so two months. So I guess there is enough time for them to like change stuff, I guess. But I, as much as it's crazy to say, Madden 21 is probably closing in on being done. Right? My man Sagwa right there with the tier one, man. There it is, man. And it's like, I, I think it's done. You know, I don't think they would change anything crazy. I mean, it would be definitely be cool to play, but we'll see. As far as I'm concerned, if they don't, <laughs> if they don't let me stream it or YouTube it, I, I really don't give a shit, honestly. Bro, newbie, I don't give a shit about 120 frames per second. We really don't care. Every everything in next gen, I'm be honest, I really don't give a shit because I don't think my monitors are 120 frames per second. So I'm not buying whole new monitors. So far, I'm concerned. I don't give a shit if Madden is 10 frames per second. I'm cool. You know, but I believe Madden 20 came out after July, like a month from now, actually. You know. It's just like crazy talk. But like I said, this was episode 85. Ocho Cinco. I don't really... Y'all kind of let me down on the wish list today, I'm be honest. Y'all kind of, like, burned my heart. The trailer looked good. Excited for the Needed Gaming Invitational this year. See? There you go, Donnie. The release date, August 2nd. So, 23 days earlier. Greg, yep. Yeah. They have Madden 20 banners. The banners in practice mode. That's going to end the podcast. I'm completely done. Because now we're talking about practice mode banners. Which one of you absolute nerds looks at the banners in practice mode? Episode 85. Thank you guys for watching.